So in planning for this year's garden, I made the decision that this was going to be like a salad bed. So like a seasony, spicy, so we got some cilantro and some arugula. And we're going to pick a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then down here, some calendula. Those leaves are delicious in your salad. So you take all of that. You take all of that. And you put it on here. And then you have a delicious little sandwich. Every day in your garden, you make decisions about what's going to be going on. Um, you're the curator of this beautiful masterpiece that is your garden. That makes it uniquely yours. That's why each person's garden is uniquely theirs. Their style, their influence. And sometimes those decisions are not so easy. So this is a blueberry bush that we bought from, I think, I think we bought it at Walmart. But it's a good blueberry bush. It's going to, you can see it's going to give us some blueberries. It's giving us blueberries. This here looks like a potato plant. Whatever it is, it's about the flower. So then it boiled down to... Do we want the, the potatoes growing or do we want the blueberries growing? And ultimately, I'd like to get the whole potato root out, but I don't want to disturb the roots of the blueberry too much. I might be able to yank it out alongside it, but I'm not going to be growing potatoes there because the potatoes require me to uproot every all the dirt around it. I'm, I can't have that, I guess, with the blueberries. It's not intended to be a potato spot. And the rule of thumb in the garden here is that we don't like things that are poisonous being unprotected from hungry mouths. Um, I, I love that my kids like to come out here and make salads in the garden. And I like to feel safe that they're not going to be picking anything that's going to be giving anybody upset stomach. And potato greens are poisonous, just matter of factly. So they're going to have to come out one way or another. So we're going to put it in this bucket. And we're going to cover this back up. Problem solved, I guess. Ta da! A happy blueberry bush. I think everything needs to get watered good now. And yeah, we'll see if I can put some dirt on this. I 
Thanks for coming along, friends. I wish you the best of luck. It's not always easy. It's not always black and white. But trust your intuition. And make sure your style is applied in full throw. Thanks for coming along. God bless you. God bless your garden. Keep out this trap.